you're playing the cop today. Yes, I am. I've I'll got play a the voice. Cop. I've got the a voice picked the... up and everything. I will be the cop wearing the green coat because he never speaks. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he just looks very brave in the background in most shots. Yes. And I doubt we'll ever see him again. <laughs> he's, he's just gone. I wonder why he never spoke. It's always been the guy in the orange jacket. I know. It's weird. <laughs> but anyway, ready when you are. Okay, hold on. Do you want me to read the narration? Uh, yeah, hold on. I'll do him in a Brad Neely voice. Okay, ready. Mary Word, Ted is arrested. Ted can't bring himself to look at Adrian at this point. No. No, he, he, sees, he sees a penny on the ground. Ooh. <laughs> I'd like that. Hang on a second, guys. I dropped that penny. He's still, <laughs> he's still trying to <laughs> see a lot of money. Yes. <laughs> he's like, he slides fall out of the green guy's jacket. <laughs> and uh, Adrian is wearing an expression much like a confused cavefish. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, no! I am, I am so glad that they brought that back. <laughs> no, no, no! <laughs> and she faints on on the ice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then um, uh, Adrian cuts her hand over her mouth and shouts at the cops who are inches away. This can't be happening! Okay, now the guy in orange. And here's here's where I start my voice. I'm sorry, man. If there's any consolation, we're, we're lucky to find him now, rather than later. Adrian <laughs> <laughs> right. touches her fingertips to a breastbone. Again. <laughs> I should have last week. <laughs> and then, I guess the green guy's playing pin the tail on the on the donkey on Ted. Pin the tail on the convy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! You should write write to Karen Moy. She can make it <laughs> make some money. <laughs> It'll be a sensation at Sweet's birthday party. To yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Then the orange guy continues. Not only is this guy. Charged with fraud, forgery, and tampering with public records. Adrian yawns. <laughs> uh, <whatever. laughs> He's also charged with failing to pay child support. <laughs> no. I like that the uh, the orange guy is kind of smiling. In this. I know what 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 is with that that pen? Like he's just kind of leave. It's just two heads. It looks like it's uh. The two-headed monster from Sesame Street. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You've got a lot to do with this film, here. I know. <laughs> uh, green shirt. Get in there, you. Watch your head. Hmm. What a guy, huh? Goes by many names. Like Edward Cole, I said the one. The, the green-haired guy is checking for needles in Ted's <laughs> hair. <before> he's... <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he, he just likes... He likes his hair. So, ooh, what, what condition do you use? <laughs> oh, you know. Like soon. <laughs> but he really uses a Kurt Plus. <laughs> no, he uses Fidel soon. It just belongs to Adrian. He stole it. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Robbed her up for shampoo. Okay, now Adrian is doing her her best Spider-Man impression on the side of the on the side of the police car. I'd like to think that this isn't necessarily, Eric, um, the actual uh, panel going on. Yes. But these are two golden statues <laughs> built in honor of this momentous occasion. <laughs> uh, <laughs> now I know his real character. Okay, and then on Monday. Monday's, Monday's strip, uh, she's changed changed her outfit again. Yeah, she's changed. She's changed clothes. Isn't From pink to purple. In purple. And, um... Police detectives make an arrest. <laughs> oh. Yeah? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> you got excited for a minute there. Fraud? Bigamy? Failing to play child support? <laughs> we were tracking them for a while. I'm sorry. Man. <laughs> Was he our boyfriend? That is my fiance. We were engaged to be married, and she's biting her fingernails. Oh no! 
Do, do, you, do you like do you like my voice? I do. <laughs> For the detective, he's like one of those old like uh, like black and white movies. You're kind of like a Humphrey <laughs> Bogart kind of. Yes. <laughs> I I mean, does Karen Roy or Joe what what's the face really think this is how detectives dress now <laughs> in the modern world? But they're like I mean, what the hell? And- what the hell are they wearing? <laughs> Lime green and pumpkin orange. I'm, I'm going by my uh, assumption last week that they came, came from a costume party. <laughs> well, it, they're Harry and Lloyd from Dumb and Dumber. Yeah, like I said. <laughs> exactly. Like you said. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the guy in orange is um, Jeff Daniels. Yes. And the guy with the black hair is Jim Carrey. <laughs> it makes sense. Mm. <laughs> but, you know, uh, what. One of them was wearing a blue suit in the movie, but it was kind of short notice. And well, I don't think Joe Galilea has ever seen Dumb and Dumber. Yeah, probably not. Which wouldn't surprise me. One of them was wearing orange, the other one was wearing blue, and Joe Galilea is actually colorblind, which would explain <laughs> a lot. Yes, <laughs> that would make sense. <laughs> All these garish clothes. Okay. Uh, Tuesday. Yes, Tuesday. Adrian tells Detective her story. Well, that had a few months ago. I thought I knew him. I felt I did. I didn't notice any red flags. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to point out that uh, the furniture in the detective's office matches his suit. Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> he seems like a good man. <laughs> He's a good liar. You're not the only one who fell for his lies. <laughs> he's not offering her those tissues. He's just showing them to her. <laughs> he's just shoving them in her in her face. I imagine him like bu- bumping the corner of the box against your chin. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, how do I guess? <laughs> um, <laughs> am I bugging you? Am I bugging you? I'm not touching you. <laughs> They're doing a good top, bad top thing. The guy in the green shirt standing by the door. Mm. Yes. <laughs> They're interrogating her. Mm. <laughs> They're playing bad cop, worst cop. Because <laughs> they're both terrible, terrible at their job. Well, when they caught Ted Condy, which yes. I believe we suspected him from the beginning. Yeah, I know. Oh, he's, he's a slippery fish. That Ted called me. No wonder nobody's ca- nobody's caught him. He changed his name. <laughs> no, okay, Wednesday. <laughs> you were arguing about him. Why? Before he tried to skip hours. <laughs> That's crying. That's what all these pauses are. Good. I like it. Thank you. I'm an actor. Do you know where he was headed? He said it's just a Mickey and he beat me to the <laughs> That's how people cry, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> At least in uh, uh, Karen Moy's mind, probably. I've never cried, so I'm not sure what it's like. But... Yeah. He didn't... Well, oh, hold on. <laughs> he doesn't... Ha- I have a sister, but he does have a wife named Nikki. <laughs> and he's holding up like, uh... It's a comic book. You like comic <laughs> books? You like comic <laughs> books, sweetheart? Uh, I, I got Dick Tracy here. <laughs> <laughs> With the tiny little hand. <laughs> which, <laughs> which, uh, uh, Karen Roy still thinks is being published and is a huge success. Maybe this guy is Dick Tracy. <laughs> Maybe he is. Does he have a name? No. But uh, they just refer to him as the detective. <laughs> detective Orange. <laughs> That's his name. Detective, detective Dick Green. Orange. <laughs> and Detective Green with uh, an E at the end. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Thursday. He was uh, still married. And Vicky Smithson, before he, before he married, oh, I can't even pronounce 
These goddamn names are so so goddamn terrible. Lydia. <laughs> Mary. <laughs> Lydia Brown. I was divorced from Queenie Gomez. Also, I'd like to point. I'd like to point out. Remember last week I said uh, Ted looks like Gomez Adams. <laughs> I predicted this. You did. Did you read a, a Mary Worth? Uh, yes, I did. <laughs> Damn it, Eric. A dark, dark, dark UFO as a as a Mary Worth section. <laughs> <laughs> you people, I have never seen anybody. Actually, like, put their fingers on their lips when they're concerned with something. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and then Adrian here has done it oh. five times this week. Yep, pretty much. I, I just imagine she's biting her fingers. I, I like that. <laughs> or she, she's she's smelling her hand to see if her you can smell her lunch on it. <laughs> she, got OCD. She, she had she had like like a uh, um a focaccia for lunch. I go, do my, do my hands smell like girls? No, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> but, but here, Adrian completely breaks down. He told me that! That's good acting right there. <laughs> I can, get, I can do it forever. She's been looking for him ever since he skipped out on paying child support for their son. And evidently, uh, this detective is also on the case of Rorschach. <laughs> yes. <laughs> In the background. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yes. Uh, we're after that. We're after that crazy, crazy vigilante. Have you seen him? Also, what the hell kind of a last name is Smithson? I have never heard that name in my life. <laughs> it sounds like one of those crazy last names that I typically make up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like last week, I, I claimed that my last your, your last name was Eric Bergensteinberger yes. or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Adrian's skull seems to change shape quite often as well. Yes, it does. He's got these like big fat cheeks, but then many times he turns, they vanish. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she's eating. She's, like every other panel, mm. she's got a big mouthful of popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> she's like a like a hamster. She stores food in her cheeks. Just saving it for later. Friday. Friday. He committed bigamy by failing to divorce his wife number two before marrying wife number three. And I almost became number four! She, si she sings. <laughs> we discovered he's been working on number five as well. You are lucky I didn't marry him. Notice that on his death, yep. his telephone has changed position. <laughs> it's a magic phone. I don't think it's magic. I just think it's like a little Star Wars robot. Yes, <laughs> it moves, moves around on his disc. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, noise. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> and then it completely vanishes on Saturday. Yes. <laughs> oh, we haven't done the second panel for Friday yet. No, I did. I I read the I read the thing. Oh, you read your part. Yep. I don't feel lucky. I actually feel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why she's been covering her mouth. She's been trying not to not to throw up. <laughs> that's what the tissue was for. She was wiping her mouth. <laughs> No, she actually, she actually threw up a little bit in it. <laughs> Into her purse. 
and her birth changes <laughs> position every day, too. I know, what the hell? Maybe the phone's pushing it around. <laughs> mm. she, she's keeping one of those little, uh, little dogs in there. And <laughs> like an Ibo? Yeah. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm not like a like a real dog, like a, a Paris Hilton a a Chihuahua, <laughs> a little to- toy Chihuahua, a little Chihuahua or a Shihu. <laughs> yep, <laughs> and it has leg holes in the bottom so it can walk around. <laughs> Walking first, that's kind of adorable. Yes. <laughs> Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. Yep, Saturday. All right, hold on. Your turn. <laughs> you don't look well. You are... Are you all right, Miss... Di- Dr. Corey? Mr. Corey? Mr. Corey, yep. <laughs> he, he was... He, he thought she was a man this this whole time. <laughs> like, oh, that's... That's why this has been throwing me. I thought you were a man. I was going to say, well, how, how could you get married in, in this state? <laughs> Women can't be doctors. <laughs> It's all such a shot. <laughs> and she's punching herself in the eye. <laughs> He's just trying to pull it out, like Oedipus. Wake up, brain. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up, brain. <laughs> Let me get you a glass of water. Thank you. That would be very kind, Detective Orange. <laughs> Detective I, I Orange. I wasn't actually looking at the panel. I realized he says something different. <laughs> <laughs> I was close enough. Yeah, that's that's the thing with Mary Worth. You can just make things up, and they'll probably be pretty close to what it, what it actually says. The thing is, you can tell people that it says what you said it said, and then they'll believe you because nobody reads. And also, there's, there's some some kind of a shadow monster behind the the detective. <laughs> In that panel. He's Ted Convy. <laughs> He's hiding. <laughs> He's wearing his cloak of shadow at plus two. Uh, he rolled his stealth check and he's been listening in this whole time. Uh, no, I, no. You know what I've been thinking? I don't think these two guys are actually detectives. I think they're all part of uh, Ted's con. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're actually in some, some like, uh, uh, like filming studio. They're, they're in like a dentist's office, and the dentist walks in. What's going on here? <laughs> it's like it's like one of those big uh, like teeth on the wall. <laughs> and then two more, even more ludicrously dur- uh, dressed detectives come in, <laughs> and they're wearing like fedoras and French coats, <laughs> pointing revolvers. <laughs> <laughs> You two are coming with us. <laughs> he's the he's the Irish cop. Yeah, the I, the Irish accent was fake. That that's why he changed it. He was still <laughs> he was he was having trouble getting into character. <laughs> Adrian was dumb enough to believe. Yes. <laughs> the other two cops. We've got your green clad friend outside. <laughs> Going to jail for a long time, Mister Orange. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And so, um, that's this week in Mary Worth. Yep. What a story. <laughs> oh god. Yeah.